Come on in, let's begin the biscuit. It's the biscuit. We're in, babies. My little biscuit babies. What's the count here, boys? Oh, that's one glorious Labat. 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 We got three loaded. We'll see what happens. How you guys doing? You guys have a good holiday? I hope you did. Um, Hanukkah. Uh, I think Kwanzaa's over. I think that was today. I'm recording um, the day after Christmas. I kind of like doing the Monday, the Monday deal. Um, gets me a chance to talk about the three stars of the week and uh, unless there's a fucking game on Monday night. See, that's where the dilemma is, man. I guess it'll depend on when CBJ's playing, if on a Sunday or Monday. Oh, but, uh, you guys don't give a fuck. It's not like you're sitting there at your house going, oh, oh, the biscuit's recording on Sunday night. I get to hear it Monday and then wake up like, oh, what the fuck? No, it's going to, it gets on what I think I've done a couple Wednesday. Anyway. I had a great Christmas. Thank you for asking. It's the best one I've ever had in my entire life. Um, hail, hail to Jesus, you sweet baby. Uh, the kids had a good one. Um, the, my oldest, the boy, uh, we got him some goalie gear, so I was firing some biscuits at him in the basement. Had a lot of fun. And uh, the little girl, she's like 18 months old, so she's you know just had fun ripping shit open. The only thing that has been absolutely terrible is there has not been any hockey for like three days. Jesus, fuck, man. I Note to self, remember to record some fucking... I don't even care what it is. I'll watch the fucking KHL if I have to, but I'm going to make sure I'm sitting on some games that I can watch um, during the, the days down. But thank, 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 thank goodness for uh, the NHL Network covering the World Juniors. I've been stroking it to that all day. Uh, it, earlier, the, the first game wasn't on. I think it was uh, Denmark and Sweden. Uh, Sweden gave me the old 1-2 schnitzel doodle. Is that Swedish? The Swedish cook. Hurdy, hurdy, birdie. They gave them one of those. Beat their dog ass. Uh, and then the good guys... Ended up playing Latvia, kicked their ass, sent those uh, fucks a packing. Um, then it was Finland and the Czech Republic, and holy fuck, that game-winning goal was badass. I think it was some dude named Spakic, Spachik. Absolute fucking ripper, dude. If you didn't watch the the first day of the juniors, you're a fucking idiot. You're an idiot, and I hate you. Uh, Canada's on right now, um, well through the second period, and it's it's getting a little bit ugly. Oh. Uh, I just watched uh, my boy, PLD, Pierre-Luc Dubois, get a sick assist. Pretty sure we're going to get to, get to talk about that old boy um, here later when we... Uh, Get down to some prospect talk. And if you hear my fucking piece of paper during the podcast, don't send me your bullshit. I do this once a week for you, not for me. Do you think I like fucking talking to myself in a room? Drinking beer away from my family? No. No! So you're going to hear some paper crinkling. You're going to hear some farts. You're going to hear some butt chugs. You're going to hear some some shit, man. This is real life. No holds barred. I uh, I let you in, let you into to inside me. I'm letting you inside me, and I take fucking notes, man. I'm not Joe Rogan, dude. I just can't fucking get stoned and go off my cuff. I bring in three labats and I fucking go over my bullet points of the shit that I think was awesome in hockey this week. Read the fucking thing, man. An update of all things awesome that happened this week in the world of hockey. I lay it right out there for you, boys. (sighs) 
<sighs> I get too angry. Maybe it's left over from like Christmas presents. I think uh, if you're a new parent, here's a little note I learned this Christmas. Assemble all shit before Christmas morning. And I don't care if you have to wrap that shit in, in a plastic bag afterwards, but dude, setting up all that shit on Christmas Day is hell. And those kids are wanting to play with the Nerf gun, wanting to fucking play with the new Wii, wanting goddamn goalie gear set up. You can't do it all at one time, and all you're trying to do is get a couple fucking, you know, down and maybe watch a... Uh, I was watching football, to be honest with you. Basketball's fucked. We're getting off the tracks here. We're getting, Let's get back on the rails. Half that goddamn team... The U.S. boys is from Boston. Are you surprised? I am not. I, Austin Matthews is from Arizona, right? That's not going to happen again. Um, the dudes that are good at hockey are the kids from fucking Massachusetts. It's just how good. And uh, Michigan, obviously. Minnesota. Places where it's kid cold. Where these kids play. Um, I know California is getting a bigger scene because... It's just made up of move-ins, man. So, um, I'm, I'm, it makes complete sense. Uh, go Boston. Until tomorrow, when I hope you fucking get your ass kicked. I told you guys I would listen to the History of Hockey podcast. I did. I loved it. Um, I ended up fucking subscribing and... Downloading about half of their fucking catalog because I'm gonna I'm gonna learn ya. I'm gonna get my fucking this big old brain bulging like that fucking blue jacket dick. Ah, uh, it was really good, really fucking really good. I listened to the latest one. I think it was uh, trophies episode four of the trophies series. Oh. <laughs> uh, the one thing I did want to talk about, and I don't mean to steal their thunder, but they had he had mentioned the dude that. Um, host, I'm not sure of his name. Um, you can look it up on the internet. I'm not fucking doing it. But uh, an ambidextrous goalie by the name of Bill Dernan. He's in the hall. Um, I'd never heard of the cat, man. Uh, played for the the Habs. Um, didn't have a super long career. Played from 1944 to 1950. But in that amount of time, that can't be fucking right. He won the Vesna every year he was in the fucking league? Ah, that can't be right. 44 to 50. That's six years, right? Am I fucking retarded? I swear to God it said he won the Vesna six times. And maybe I missed it. Did he start? That's fucking crazy, dude. And he won the cup two times in that span as well. And you're thinking, oh, okay, so yeah, a goalie could be am am detect am be dexterous. Ambidextrous. Jesus fucking Christ. But it's not going to matter because you have your fucking catcher and your stick. He had special gloves made so he could switch to either or, depending on how frisky he was feeling. Fucking badass, dude. Just, how cool is that? Someone should do that now. Just, like, oh yeah, you think you're good, Carrie? Check this out. Blah, da, blah, da. I'd be fucking switching mid-shot, dude, like a fucking... Like me. That's what I... I'm going to do it. I'm going to fucking make some gloves on my own. I'm not. I'm not going to. But if I was him, he should have bought up all the special gloves so no one else could wear them. Like, run, Ronnie, run. Um, and he was the captain of the Canadians in the 1947-48 season. And this led to the banning... The NHL banned goalies from being able to fucking wear the C. And it's known as the, the Dernan rule. I think I'm saying Dernan, right? D-U-R-N-A-N. Dernan. 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 Bill Dernan. William Bernan. Bernan. And I was thinking, well, what? that's fucking stupid. What's the big fucking deal? And he was the last goalie to wear the C until 2008 when Roberto Longo uh, got it for the Canucks. But here's the thing. The reason it was banned is because people were bitching because as a captain you have certain duties. You got to fucking go report during, um, you know, penalties and dispute things with the uh, zebras there. 
So the players were arguing that uh, old fucking Billy Two Hands. What do the fucking guys of the history call it? History podcast. Billy catch catch with two hands. Catch ah, uh, just something fucking funny. If you like jokes, read it. I don't remember where it was. But uh, he was leaving his crease to go argue, so it was leading to unscheduled timeouts, which was slowing the game down. And they think that he was doing this on purpose, or if he felt that he was up to a disadvantage, he would just leave the crease and be like, oh, I'm the capitan, I have to go fucking talk. So, that is why you won't see a goalie wear the C. Um, And the Canucks did it, and they just had, like, a liaison to the ref. Like, so... Uh, Roberto had the C, but like the Sedin brothers would go talk to the ref for him or this other fuck. So he really wasn't a captain, but he was, it was, you know, more of a, I don't know. I, I think, I thought, I think that's cool. I think more teams should do that. Give them the old middle finger. But I've, I've mentioned this before in previous biscuit podcasts that, uh, I wanted to look up and see why goalies don't wear the C and how many there have been. And there's only been seven ever in the history of the fucking game, the recorded NHL game. So, do you guys want to know who they are? Too fucking bad. You know I didn't look that up. What do you think I'm a fucking, some nerd hanging out at my dinner table while my fucking kids eat macaroni and cheese looking up, oh, what, who played goal, who are the captains? I did it. I looked them up. That's absolutely the truth. While you kids are playing with your colored pencils, filling in your fucking coursey graphs. I'm looking up real shit, dude. Real tough dude shit. <laughs> uh, the first one was John Ross Roach for the Toronto St. Patrick's 24-25 season. And you're thinking, who the fuck are the St. Patrick's? I'm thinking the same thing. I hope I find out sometime this week. Which also gets to my next point. The original six aren't the original six. More to come. More to come. George Hainsworth, Canadians, 32-33. Also, that same season, there was two other dudes that wore the C back there in the crease. A Roy Warders for the New York Americans. And Alex Connell for the Ottawa Senators. And last but not least, old Charlie Garndaner for the Blackhawks, 33-34. And then uh, Dernan, 48, and they fucking banned it. Except for old uh, Roberto. So you won't see it probably ever again. Sadly, I'll tell you right now, Bob would be wearing one if it wasn't fucking banned. You're goddamn right he would. And you know who else I think would be wearing one? My man, Mikey S for the fucking Coyotes. I'm a fan, dude. Add him to my list. That's the best thing about having center ice, dude. You get fucking bored, you just watch a game. I watched like fucking two Coyotes games last week. Who does that? Coyotes fans don't even do that. But I am becoming a fan of the fucking Baltimore helmet Mike Smith. He just plays like a fucking banshee, dude. He's out of the crease. He's fucking backhanded passes out. Just playing like a wild man. He's really exciting. Um, He's an Olympic champion, so can't hate him. And uh, picked a fight the other day. Fucking some dude came back behind there. Probably saw what happened to old King Henry and fucking threw down. Much respect to any goalie that'll fucking get ready to, to, to toss a with them boys. Um... Other notes from that camp out there, the uh, we had uh, reported on Craig Cunningham, and I have an update on how he's doing. I just wanted to keep you guys updated on him. Uh, if you remember, he is the AHL player for the Tucson Roadrunners who collapsed on the ice before a game on uh, November 19th. He a- ended up being diagnosed with uh, ventricle fibrillation, which is a Cardiac rhythm disturbance that causes the heart to fucking stop. They have no idea why it happened to him. I think he's like 29 years old. Um, They ended up doing some fucking crazy surgeries, hooking his body up to some machine uh, to try to get his heart to start working again. 
his heart actually stopped for two days while he was hooked up to this fucking, all this crazy million dollar man shit, um, and they got to work, he came out of it, uh, he's alive and progressing, um, I thought it was crazy, <laughs> they were asking him if he was gonna play again, he's like, I mean, most likely not, um, the last thing I had read, uh, either his right or his left leg, uh, you know, is completely numb. When you're, I think he was in a coma or in a coma state for a couple weeks. So there's going to be some some shaking off the cobwebs there. Uh, but a tap of the stick to that old boy. I'm I'm glad he's doing well. I'm happy for his family and that organization, and uh, send him good vibes, as they would say. Little rumor I heard. Little old rumor trade bird. Uh, Duchesne to the Islanders. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, the Islanders are on a lookout for a winger to play with Tavares. Uh, Colorado's looking to fucking unload whatever they possibly can to do the old blow up and rebuild. Um, they already suck ass. Duchesne's not going to do them any good. Might as well. Um, but I don't expect a lot of move movement, uh, to be honest with you with the, uh, the expansion draft coming, um, I think a lot of teams are just going to sit stagnant and see what happens and, you know, uh, the dudes with no move clauses and try to have a dude, like, I don't know how his contract is, obviously, um, don't give a fuck, but say he is available to be pulled by Las Vegas, there's no way they pass on him. So maybe it's good to keep him there and whatever, you got to lose a guy, might as well be someone you don't want, freeze up the cap space, they have to take care of it and... There you go. Ooh, we're getting close. Getting close to the Blue Jacket breakdown, baby. Holy fuck are these guys good. But uh, before we get to the first game, which is against the Kings, I wanted to talk about a certain man who plays for the Kings that everyone in the state of Ohio cannot fucking stand, and that's Mr. Jeff Carter. Um, at the time on Tuesday, I was still live tweeting games, which I think I'm done doing. Um, we'll get to that here in a minute as well. But every time that fuck boy touches the puck, he gets booed. If you don't know the story of Jeff Carter, there's plenty of fucking places to find it. But the shortened fucking college cliff note he was supposed to play in Columbus, didn't want to play. He bitched about it, and then we traded him. He's a cunt. He's a pussy. He's a twat. You're supposed to get over it because it's been like five years. I don't give a fuck. Fuck him. You fuck on me, I fuck on you. Fool me, can't get fooled again, as they would say. So, you know how the Twitter goes. People are going, well, just quit booing him. It, it's been five years, you know, if they want to fucking boo him, fucking boo him, dude. You pay money to go to the game, you can fucking boo the hot dog dude if you want. And I had a, I thought it, I had a pretty funny uh, Twitter thing there. If you don't like to eat or enjoy hot dogs, you're not going to like this podcast. So if you've made it this far into the biscuit catalog, and you're sitting there going, well, it's, you know... Dude's super cool. I'd like to fucking drink with him. He's probably, you know, got cool pubes. If you don't like hot dogs, you turn this fucking podcast off and you delete it. And I never want to hear from you again. They're delicious. And they're perfect. Anyway, boom. But then I was thinking, <sighs> who are we? The fucking ex-girlfriend that, like, has the, you know, from junior high that has, like, a Cody box. Or some fucking weird shit like that. I got a Jeff Carter box. Uh, I'm the only one that could ever love him. We held hands during fucking snow day at the movie theater. So the dude that runs, uh, what is it, firethecanon.com. I said, well, how about this? Whole stadium, music announcers, everybody. Everybody in the whole fucking place. Dead silence. When that fuck touches the puck. We never, we don't even say his name. If he scores a goal, we don't announce it. He scored two, by the way. It's fucking... 
For a dude that didn't want to play in Nationwide, he plays pretty fucking well in Nationwide. I'm not going to lie to you. So, all my uh, Blue Jacket Biscuit backers out there, um, I don't think we have L.A. anymore for the year. I think we did our two and we're done with those fucks. But from here on on, from here on on and on, from here on on and on on on, when Jeff Carter touches the biscuit, we will say nothing. Is that from Harry Potter too? A lot of Harry Potter talk going on. I I don't. You know what I did? I fucking peed on dudes that liked Harry Potter. But that's isn't that the one you don't speak of? Is that Harry Potter? You don't say his name. Snape Snape kills Dumbledore. Blue jackets break down. Blue jackets break down. Blue jackets break down. Blue jackets break down. Well, what? Excuse me? Twelve straight? No. Oh, wait. First in the metro? Excuse me? No. Oh. No, you meant first in the NHL, the best team in the league. F -f 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 fuck you, everyone. Okay, I believe you. The biscuit said it. The biscuit said it. It's true. Tuesday, win, 3-2, to two. L.A. Kang. Those two goals were by... Thursday... Oh, sweet, sweet Thursday. How about it there, Pittsburgh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven Blue Jackets goals. Seven Blue Jackets goals. How many do you have? One. Fuck you. That song needs some work. That's That, that song needs a lot of work. That game was awesome. Um, my younger brother's a Penguins fan. He suffers from mental illness. But, uh, so that game was Thursday. I had Friday off. So in between, in the second intermission, I, I, I walked down the street to go get a couple beers there. And I came back in. My fucking wife is, like, screaming in the living room. They scored a fucking other one! I said, oh, fuck, it's that faggot Crosby. And she goes, no, the Blue Jackets just scored like three goals in 51 seconds. Franchise record. I'm like, whoa, holy moly. If only we could rewind T... Oh, I can. So I did it. Amazing. Um, but yeah, Pittsburgh didn't have Daly or Latang. I'm not making excuses for them. Uh, we're just a superior team. Um, we were a superior team a few years ago in the uh, playoffs, but we didn't know it at the time. And when I say we, I mean we, the Blue Jackets. I can be a part of the team if I want to. If a fucking six-year-old kid can say he identifies as a fucking, um, I don't know, muskrat, I can identify as a Blue Jacket. So that's what you'll call me from here on out. I am a Blue Jacket. And if you don't, it's shame. And I'll call the cops on you, or I'll blog about it. And you can't shame people, all right? I'm with her. Um, but yeah, dude, that that fucking game. We needed we needed to fucking spank the pussy shit out of them just to let them know we're not afraid of them and that this fucking game means something to us and it's a real rivalry. Fuck you and your piece of shit city. And Boone's fight was better than people were talking about on uh, hockeyfights.com. It's the only one I actually voted and rated on this week. I gave the fight to Boone. Um, I, he's been having an okay season. There's going to be dudes that are having an okay season when cats like fucking Cam Atkinson are playing out of their fucking minds. There's going to be some middle-of-the-road dudes, and that's that's Boone so far. So he had to find a way. He had to light it up another way. And uh, I like that they went down and they popped back up as... Uh, before the old zebras could stop them there. Uh, go watch that fight. Hockeyfights.com. Um, tell them the biscuit sent you. I'm not affiliated with them, but I'd like to be. And I still only have one friend on that fucking website. It's like my life. But my wife's not my friend on hockeyfights.com. You know what? 
fuck you too. Yeah, I talk about my wife a lot and my kids because I love them. If you're a man and you don't love your family, also, fuck, get the fuck out of here. Go to fucking the, the B dubs or something. <sighs> Friday. Beat the Habs 2 to 1. It was a good game. And then that's when the sadness started. No more games. No more games. Is my freezer all right? Got the deep freezer fucking loaded with venison right now, boys. Fucking brats. It's making weird fucking noises, though. I'm worried about it. I'll go check that afterwards. Probably not when I'm recording, huh? We got Boston tomorrow. At home. 7 o'clock. I think they're responsible for two of our losses, yeah? Uh... I want to keep rolling. I want 13. I'm getting selfish. I want 13. I would like to get to 15, tie the win streak. If I, if I think the, either the Penguins or Capitals, it would be the best win streak um, since like 2006 or some shit. But that's what I want. I want that. I want it, and I want it now. Um, since the Blue Jackets have been doing so well, they've been on you know ESPN and been covered by everybody who, you know, earlier in the season would say that we don't deserve a team and uh, doesn't consider us a team and all this dog shit. So Greg Wyshynski of the Puck Daddy, um, PuckDaddyPot.com, Yahoo Sports, runs that mediocre uh, podcast Puck Soup with uh, that fuck Greg Luozo, the idiot that fucking used the name Biscuits. Don't listen to that podcast. Tell them you hate them. Rate them one star. I'm starting a fucking Twitter beef. <laughs> no, I just, I'm not into that. And I listen to a lot of Puck Soup, but now I don't. It guys just a bunch of fucking, not even funny dick jokes. And, uh, torts hate. So I'm done. Done with it. And interviews with, like, Boomer Sison's daughter. Boys, you live in New York. Talk to anyone else. Jesus, fuck. But he said some shit about uh, the fan base in Columbus. Um, we call ourselves the fifth line. Um, it's something we identify with and we enjoy and uh, we keep near and dear to our hearts. And he said something about uh, fifth line is what we would call players that couldn't play on the fourth line. Basically saying we're, we're shitty. And, you know, everybody got all butthurt about it and started tweeting about it and giving Mr. Uh, Wyshynski all this uh, attention. And that's right there and then is when I decided I'm not reading this shit when I'm watching games anymore. It just ruins the experience. So I don't even, uh, I'll check, like, my text and talk to my friends. Uh, a lot of my, a lot of my bros um, that live in Columbus are getting into hockey, which is, uh, Amazing, which is the purpose of this podcast, is to to broaden the fan base of the greatest sport in the world. A sport I love, a sport you love. We watch all of it, all the time. If you have a city and there's a team, watch them, support them. But this fucking crybaby bullshit has to end. It's no way for fucking people to live. And I'm just going to, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to, I mean, I'm still going to talk shit when I want to, but, um... If I'm reading shit I don't like, I'm just going to unfollow it. I'm not going to bitch about it anymore. I'm over it, man. I'm not going to fucking fight for unfollows and follows. And if you, I have upset somebody with what I say, suck my dick. I haven't said the fucking N-word yet. And then uh, a dude says, you know, he's he's taking the... Uh, using the, the Trump method, you know, by saying this shit to people to get them riled up, to get attention. And then that turned into fucking Wyshynski saying, we called him Trump. And it, like, oh my God, dude, it just got fucking so out of hand. And it was just so not fun. And then somebody found some Puck Daddy fucking thing. Because he said he had never heard of the fifth line before last week. Then it's the internet, dude. They found some fucking thing, some article he wrote in like 2012 or 13 or 14, some shit. 
about the fifth line. So it's just like lies on top of dog shit, on top of fucking stuff I don't care about, man. I'd rather hear my older bald brother talk about his fucking fantasy football team than to listen to Greg Wyshynski talk about the fifth line when he doesn't know a goddamn thing about it and is one of those fucking idiots that thought the Blue Jackets wouldn't be good because Tortorella's a bad coach. As my dude Kyle McGee would say, fire torts. Yep, that's my fucking paper. Fuck you. Ah, that was a drink of my beer. Lick my ass crack. Not the hole, just the crack. Um, 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 the scores. Do you guys like the scores? No one's fucking telling me, so I guess if you're not telling me, it's fine. Um, they're teams I care about. Uh, if there's teams you care about, tell me. I'll fucking read the scores off. If it's your fucking high school team, dude, send me an email. I'll read the fucking Worcester General scores off. Go Generals. Um, OHL looks like they had the fucking week off, man. Sent them boys to wherever the fuck. Uh, I didn't see a game. They play Wednesday at 7 against the... Oh, fuck, man. This one was crazy. Like the Salt... Salt Street Marie Greyhounds. Not even a fucking real place. I guarantee it. Now they're just making fucking cities up to see if anybody calls their bluff. The Greyhounds of Salt fucking St. Marie or whoever you... You're not real. I guarantee it. Not a real place. Not on this flat earth, at least. Uh, the ECHL. Bay Bay. Toledo Walleye. Lost. Three to two in a shootout to the K-Wings. Um, been paying a little attention to them. Um, my little brother lives close to Kalamazoo, so he's been taking the family to games out there to check them out. So I don't, I don't hate the loss and the, the wall. I are like what twenty-five and four, so a couple more isn't going to hurt anybody. Um, Cleveland Monster news: AHL looks like they won three to two over the Charlotte Checkers. Guess what the Checkers mascot is? That's right, a polar bear. That seems to be the go-to name your team, whatever the fuck you want, and then just slap the polar bear on there. And they played them twice this week, beat them 4-2. to two. <sighs> The game before that. So those are the leagues I like. Those are the leagues I pay attention to. They seem to be the easiest leagues. To follow, um, I follow Pierre Luc Dubois on the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League, but I don't have a, a dog in that fight besides him. And man, people don't like him for whatever reason. He's got 18 points in 20 games, like 12 assists. Um, practically his first season at the center position, which 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 is where he was drafted by the. Uh, Blue Jackets. Um, but fucking Christ, what do you want? Like, they were bitching about not drafting Pooley Arby because he had a goal in his first game. Guess what he's done since then? <laughs> Dick. And now they're saying, oh, we should have drafted that uh, Keller dude, I think, from the on the United States team. Well, we didn't. So, move the fuck on. Nobody, like, you're always looking for the next, like, thing to bitch about. And I'm really putting a lot of money on this kid. I'm going to I'm gonna stand by his side until he fucking blows it. You, I've said it. I believe in him. Pierre-Luc Dubois, top line centerman in this league for the Blue Jackets. Next season. He will be playing that position. And I heard shit about he made the Canadian team, which is not easy to do, but he's not playing center, which is a bummer, right? But guess what? There's dudes that have been playing center their whole life in Canada. They're the ones playing center on that team. Is he bitching and crying about it and saying, I I love play? No. He sucked it up, fucking is playing the wing, had a beautiful assist. Dude can fucking play puck. Quit being fucks. Good God. 
Um, but like I was saying, if you guys are in to certain teams or leagues, let me know. I'll research them. I, I, I love learning new shit, man, so let me know. We'll, we'll get all fucky up in here. Getting fucky, like uh, the boys on Letterkenny. They're back. Season 2 came out on Christmas Day. I haven't watched it yet. Probably watch it tonight. Probably talk to you about it next week. Alright, I'm bouncing back and forth from World Juniors to Letterkenny to fucking leagues. Uh, so next 10 days there's going to be the World Juniors on. The Blue Jackets have three prospects in that game. In said game. In said games. Ugh. Can't put them down like I used to, boys. I'm fatter. There's more room. But, uh... My, th my, th my throat's not as spry as it was in high school. But, so, the, the aforementioned Pierre-Luc Dubois, playing for Canada. Yeah, he gotta be pretty good to play for the Canadian national team. Let's not, fuck, let's not play fuck around here. Oof. We'll try your name here, sir. Calvin... Thurkoff for Switzerland. Looking forward to see him play. And Gabriel Carlson of Sweden. Um, I'm loving it, dude. Uh, last year was the first year that I, I I watched every round, every pick of that fucking NHL draft last year. I loved every second of it, dude. The later picks get a little weird because they just start fucking hauling ass through them. But they show highlights of these dudes, and it's exciting. Um... I feel like it's getting me closer to the game because now there's dudes like PLD that were, oh, I'm going to go, I remember sitting in the fucking living room while my baby was taking a nap, trying not to scream watching the draft when he was picked third for the Blue Jackets. And when he wins the Stanley Cup, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to mean more. I watched him grow like a child of my own, like my own little baby. So that's... I'm I'm really getting into the juniors and the draft, um, so maybe I'll watch, try to watch some more of that uh, Q M J H L. Uh, maybe I'll watch uh, old Vitali Vitali Abramov. Abramov. He's eighteen. He signed entry level deal, baby. Third round pick. Suck my dick. Twenty three goals. 22 assists in 32 games down there at the fucking Major Juniors, dude. Well, can't Pierre-Luc Dubois put up numbers like that? Because he didn't. You know? Why couldn't Hillary win? She didn't. Why didn't Gary Johnson get federal backing? He didn't. There's things that do. There's things that don't. Don't be a fucking pussy about it. League leaders, biscuit babies. We're winding down. I know. I know I get sad too when we're about to end these things. My fucking ear hurts. My left ear. My left ear and my right eye. I'm losing 100%. I'm losing. I'm, I've got about 45% damage in my left ear. I don't know if it's from only wearing one ear plug at work. Because I like to hear other shit. Like I don't like it all muffled. Or if it's from playing the death metal with artillery breath. But my right ear would be fucked up from that too. Because um, it got to a certain point in that band where we are been together for 10 years and I never wore earplugs. So why am I going to start now? So, I mean, you sit and practice in like a 4x4 four four square with just fucking scooped out mids, dude. Your fucking brain is just melting. And my eyes, they, they just go, don't they? Isn't that part of science? Oh, fuck, dude. And I'm young. I'm not even old like you fucks. Make Jesus 42 points. Hmm... Sidney Crosby still leads the league in goals with 24. <sighs> Until he is not leading the league, I will not be satisfied. 
One episode is all I want without saying his goddamn name. Assess McJesus 29. Plus minus Suter 24. And I'm not 100%. I'm saying a lot of percents. Welcome to the percents with William. Uh, I think they're the Wilder on a 10 game. 10? That's the little bats talking. A 10 game winning streak. So congratulations to them. They're uh, one of my favorite teams. And I have favorite teams. There's the Blue Jackets, who reign supreme. I dig the Sharks. I dig the Wild. I follow the Red Wings. I can have more. I can do that. You guys didn't say I couldn't, but I'm telling you I can. Do Nick say percentage with a dot nine four eight, and compare that to the second place Bob, which. If you've watched Blue Jackets games, dude's a beast. He's got a 935. That's quite a bit better. Think about that. Think about this. Blackjack, bitch. Bob, 21 wins. League leader. Goals against average. No surprise here. Dubnik, 1.57. Shutouts. Dubnik, 5. Him, and, him or Bob are get, is getting the Vesna. period. I would be very fucking surprised if it happens otherwise. Uh, I'll give you a dollar if it does. First person to tell me um, no Bob, no Dube for Vesna, I'll give you a dollar if they don't win it. Fighting Majors! You know what that just reminded me of? Goof. Goof. Do you get that reference? I know a few of you do. Body Majors, Thorburn, nine. That sounds like a dude that would be leading in Body Majors. Bull, right behind him with eight, and then Matt Martin with seven. I think we might be the only podcast that covers the fighting majors. Tell your fucking local news or pussies. Tell them the biscuit said so. Since we're doing it on Monday, I got the three stars of the week. First star of the week. Getting uh, five assists in three games. Putting him to second place all time in NHL in points. Mr. Yamir Yager. Congratulations, you old fuck. And I heard uh, he's trying to do all he can to play till he's 50. Go for it, dude. Keep playing in Florida where it's warm. No income tax. Keep, uh, you know, missing the playoffs like you're going to this year and not winning Stanley Cups and ruining an organization. Why the fuck Why the fuck should he care? I wouldn't if I was him. Just keep racking up the points, fucking soaking up the sunshine and sucking dicks or licking clits, whatever you do down there. Second star of the week. And he had five goals and uh, three games. Two of them against the Blue Jackets. I hope you got that joke. I hope everybody is on my level. Third star, Talbot. Went 2-0 and 1. Um, wins against the Yotes and the Blues and the Lost in overtime to the Sharks. That'll give you a third star of the week, I guess. <laughs> Just give it to Cam Atkinson for being Cam Atkinson. That pretty little fuck. Maddie, a flat earth minute. Hashtag MFM. My wife had a dream that the earth was fat, flat. She's very... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Perceptive? Pers- she, she can see things with dreams. Um... I believe in that kind of shit. And she does not believe in flat earth. But she saw it. So think about that, Mario. Hit me up at Twitter, the Biscuit Pod. Email me, 
Email me something. I don't even care if it's a fucking dick pic. Just email me. Let's get some want some action, dude. I want some fucking action. That's uh, biscuitpodcast at gmail. The Instagram. I don't know. Do you guys even fucking care about pictures of me and like hockey and stuff? I guess you kind of have to have one to do this kind of shit, yeah? So, I don't know. Maybe we'll get that going. Um, But as of today, we're a five-star fucking podcast, guys. We did it. So go rate and review us. Keep that fucking... Keep that fucking rock hard. Five stars or nothing. Now, be be honest. Give me the truth. If you think I'm five, give me a five. If you think I'm five, give me a five. I don't want to go. Uh, I, we, I do want to say we've got some people lined up to come guest guest star on the biscuit. Uh, so that'll be interesting. That that won't be till the uh, probably the, the first quarter of next year. I got I got to figure out some some shit. Producing ain't easy, bruh. You know, especially when you're fucking caveman. It ain't like fucking donking shit on the head with a stick. So, I'm going to do a poll, I think, this week, a biscuit poll of which ending you guys like better. Stay hungry, my friends, or biscuits are done, man. The biscuit's done, man. The dishes are done, man. Goodbye. I love you. Biscuit out. Just gotta get into here. And now. Well, if I go 10 more seconds, I get 47 minutes. So we're gonna do that in 4, 3, 2, 1. Goodbye.